0.375 as a fraction. So to convert this decimal number as a fraction, we have to go through three steps. So let me explain these three steps that we need step by step. Fraction will have like this form. Fraction will have a numerator and denominator. So look, this is the decimal point and we would like to convert this number like this. So we have need we need numerator and denominator. To find numerator, at first we have to drop this decimal point and we have to write the number. Then we'll get the numerator. And for denominator, we'll consider 10 for each digit after decimal point. Look, for 3 we'll take 10 and for 7 we'll also take 10 and we'll consider uh, 10 for 5. But all you have to multiply all the 10, right? Here is the another way. Let us write the numerator. The rule is similar for <coughs> numerator. So we have to deduct this decimal point and then we have to take the number that we are getting. Look, now for decimal, we'll consider 1. And for each digit after decimal, we'll take 0. For 3, we'll take 0. For 7, we'll take 0. For 5, we'll take 0. Right? So if you multiply this 3, 10, then you'll get 1,000 or 1,000. So here is the another way. So let us write the numerator after uh, dropping the decimal. Look, now, look, this is the 10th place, this is 100th place, and this is 1000th place. The denominator of the fraction is the place value of the last digit of the decimal. Here, last digit is 5, and it is 100th place. So it is 1000th place, 10th place, 100th place, 1000th place. So we have to write 1000, right? Here is the another way. Let us write the numerator. And for denominator, what will I do? Look, the, so I'll write just 10, right? Now I'll try to find the power of 10. For every digit, we'll consider 1 power. For 3, we'll consider 1. For 7, we'll consider 1. And for 5, we'll consider 1. So we are getting here like this. 10 to the power 3. 10 to the power 3 means 1000, right? In the third step, reduce the fraction to its lowest terms. So we have to reduce this fraction. So to reduce fraction, what will I do? Look, we have to reduce this. Look. We can split. We can uh, split this number as a product of two number. Look, this number, the last digit of this number is five. So this number is divisible by five. So if I divide three seventy five by five, what will happen? Five goes into look. Five goes into thirty seven how many times? Seven times. Seven times five thirty five. Right? So if you subtract, then you will get two. Bring down this five. Five goes into twenty five five times. Five times five twenty five. So if you multiply 5 times 75, then you will get 375. So we can write this 375 as 5 times 75. So we can express this number as a product of two numbers. So I can split this 10 as a 5 times 2, right? So this 5, this 5 cancel each other. So we are getting here 75 divided by 2 times 10 times 10. Now this number is also divisible by 5. So if I divide this 75 by 5, what will happen? 
5 goes into 7 one time so 1 time 5 5 if you subtract then you'll get 2 bring down this 5 25 5 so 5 times 15 equal to 75 5 times 15 that gives us 75 now I can split this 10 as 5 times 2 I can also split this 10 as 5 times 2 so this 5 this 5 cancel each other so we are getting here 15 divided by 2 times 2 times 5 times 2 we can uh, split this 15 as 3 times 5 then 2 times 2 times 5 times 2 5 this 5 this 5 cancel each other so we are getting here 3 over 2 times 2 times 2 that is 3 over 2 times 2 4 8 3 over 4 is the simplest answer so thank you for viewing this video be well